Hello everyone and welcome to a special video from the commercial interior design team. My name is Oscar Russo and I'm the new editor of CID and I'm joined by Aidan Imanova, CID's digital editor. Now we're around a month to go until the nominations deadline for the CID Awards 2019 closes on 26 June. We're here to share three fantastic tips to put a killer nomination together. So this video is really designed to give you the best chance of walking away with one of the top trophies at the annual CID Awards. So Aidan, what's the first tip? The first tip people need to remember is to invest in proper photography. Because there isn't enough time or resources to visit each project individually, our judges are relying on the images that you provide. Also, don't forget that we are looking for projects that are 100% complete. So by all means, do submit renders to illustrate the concept design phase. But good photography is key to make your submission stand out. Well, it's absolutely important because judges have such a limited amount of time exactly. to look at the projects. And the second tip really is to focus on the present, not the past. Judges are looking at your achievements over a 12 month period. So if you are nominating yourself for Interior Design Firm of the Year, for example, focus on what you have achieved over the past year rather than showcasing your overall portfolio. And if you're submitting a project, for example, in the hotel design category, make sure that it has been completed in the past 12 months. And the final tip, which is probably the simplest one, is to submit an accompanying PDF. We've noticed that companies that consistently make the shortlist year after year are those who submit a comprehensive presentation. This is really your opportunity, Aidan, to tell your story through your submission. So for project-specific nominations, here is your chance to get a little bit creative and get more in depth about the design process. You can include things like mood boards or even material exploration. Yeah, for company and people focused awards, a PDF presentation can help you tell more about your teams or various personal accomplishments, mm. for example. And while this is not mandatory, I think going the extra mile can make the big difference. It really does make a big difference. It's amazing how tiny little tweaks to a nomination can really help it oh, absolutely. take that little bump a hundred percent, absolutely. And having said all of that, so what else do we need to know about the CID Awards this year? Well, there's a lot going on, as I'm sure you're aware. We have an early bird offer of 10% off table sales. I think that expires in June. And last year was a sellout event in June as well. So it's really, really important to get all the nominations together as quickly as possible. Uh, we're also in the process of finalizing our judging panel. So hopefully we'll be able to update people about that in due course. Yeah, and you can always stay up to date um, on the latest news on the CID Awards on CID.com. And you should make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for all the latest updates. And the other thing I would say is as well is make sure you subscribe to our YouTube account yep. and leave a comment in the box below if there is anything else about the CID Awards you want us to tackle. Good luck with all your nominations and please remember the deadline closes on 26 June. Thank you for watching and we all look forward to seeing you at the CID Awards 2019 very soon.